diversity is bad. Well, diversity can be bad, yeah. Why? Well, because what if everyone's strangers with one another? Speaking different languages and has nothing in common. How is that a country? They can learn. Are they? Hey guys, welcome back to my channel. Guys, we've been checking out This is Why America is in Decline. Guys, let's get straight into this. How's it going? I'm great. Good, good. Um, I have a question about immigration. Okay. So, I'm a legal immigrant. From what country? Uh, Mexico. Oh, okay. Yeah, and I, I got out of the Marine Corps, too. Okay. Uh, so, would I be accepted here? Did you come the right way? You came legally? Yeah, I came legally. So, you were born in Mexico? Yeah. Oh, that's super rare. Wow. Yeah, I mean, look, that's, that's How is that not... Murder? Why is it rare? Yeah. Because most people from Mexico come into the country illegally? I don't think that's... Eight million people in the last two years? How many legal immigrants from Mexico have there been in the last two years? Probably 100 to 200,000? A couple million. But not, not a couple million. How, how are we no. getting those numbers, though? Uh, from the federal government. Eight million illegal people crossed into our country the last two years. Now, I'm complimenting you for coming here legally. Is that more than the legal? Uh, yeah, so illegal is about 1.2 million total green cards administered every single year, worldwide, globally. Is that is that Mexicans or people coming from Mexico? Well, that's that's a good point. Not everyone. It's from Mexico and everyone's Mexican. That's a good point. Okay. Yeah. No, I was just asking. No, that's actually smart. So it's probably more like one out of eight are probably from Mexico. So that's still about a million. But I'm not criticizing. I'm just complimenting you. Actually. Are you all for uh, diversity, right? No. Then, wait, so legal... Immigration is bad. If right now, we have way too much legal immigration. Yeah. Way too much. 1.2 million? It's way too much. Yeah. Yeah. But, okay, how about let's backtrack a little bit. Okay. Diversity is bad. Well, diversity can be bad. Yeah. Why? Well, because what if everyone's strangers with one another? Speaking different languages and has nothing in common. How is that a country? They can learn. Are they? Yeah, they are. A lot well, of people learn. Is Elon Omar, is she assimilating to the American experiment well? Uh, is that a congressman? congresswoman? Yeah. Um, Has Elon Omar bought into the American ideas? I think so. so How? She's a progressive. She's trying to help. Oh, pro so progressivism is an American value? Yeah. George it's, Washington was a progressive? I mean, you can't go all the way to the 19... Uh, countries what? change. The society changes all, all the time. Interesting. What, so what, in the, to, what in the Constitution has changed since 1787? Amendments. Uh, there's been a lot of amendments. No, but what has been removed from the preamble or the Bill of Rights? Again, uh, maybe back then we couldn't really do anything about the constitutions, but as time moves, we are more adaptable to change. Well, the, hold on. Do human beings change? Yeah. We do? I mean, how, how have human beings changed since the 1780s? Uh, technology. I mean, well, no, 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 technology. I'm talking about human beings. Do you want me to go north, all neuroscience on you? or? Like, well, no, how has even neuroscience changed? Uh, people don't really, can't really argue, uh, do emo emotional situations at, at all right now. Uh, we're too involved in technology. It's been, we've been changing little by little, although maybe you're talking about like hunters and guns. Well, let me ask you, I mean, so the physicality the, and all that. No, I'm just saying, like, are human beings the same? raw material that they were in the 1780s. Does like yeah. free speech still matter like it did in the 1780s? Like the Declaration of Independence says, one in the course of human events it becomes necessary for one people to dissolve the political bands that have tied them to another. Does that become less true as time goes on? And I'm asking for a no, reason. But that's because the because our system is built on eternal truths, not progressive ideals. So actually the American project is conservative in nature. Elon Omar has not embraced that idea. But anyway, look, going back to the immigration thing. Well, we're you, built with uh, lib liberal ide ideals. Are we? Yeah. Where? Everywhere. Like, you, uh, democracy? That's Where is democracy Republic? in the United States? Republic? Hold on. Where is democracy in the U.S. Constitution? Where does that word appear? Uh, I'm not... Republic. It doesn't. How about in the Declaration? It doesn't either. In the Federalist Papers, it appears only negatively. So, democracy is not an American value. I'm pretty sure they're talking about democracy, like what they thought that democracy was but back then. What, what, why is, where do you get the idea that democracy is an American value? Because we, we are in a democracy. No, we're not. A democratic state. A Who Republican, said that? It was, it's between the democratic and the monarchy. It's a republic. Oh, no, state. hold on. That's different. Republic is different than democracy. So you're just like making stuff up. No, I'm not making stuff up. Well, democracy it's, is nowhere in our founding documents. Where do you think Republican... Uh, Republican oh, no, Republic, yes. That's a different form than a democracy. Totally different. It's just a... 
rewritten no, democracy? No, no. Republic is you have irrefutable eternal truths that do not change just because the majority wants them to change. Life, liberty, pursuit of happiness, property, separation of powers, independent judiciary. A democracy is this. I want to be able to take away their rights because I don't like them. Nazi Germany was a democracy. Was it? We don't like the Jews. Give us power. We're going to take their rights away. Hitler was democratically elected. Yes or no? Yes. But I'm so sure maybe the, democracy it was a isn't great. That became a tyranny. Well, no, it became a democracy. Always leads to tyranny. That's what people. That's what they don't teach in school. But re re republic. 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 If you can keep it, does not necessarily. If I mean, the whole thing that the problem with the republic is that if the people no longer want a republic, then it ceases to exist. Has that been true throughout history? There's only been a couple republic governments ever, and that was Rome. The Roman Republic yeah. ceased to exist because they didn't want it to be a republic anymore. They, they were there for many years after. As an empire, right? Remember when Julius Caesar took it from a Ro Roman Republic to a Roman Empire? He basically called himself dictator, and they became dictator for life. And then you had Roman emperors, not Roman consuls, which were one-year rulers of Rome, right? Isn't that what Trump tried to do? Uh, no. Trump won an election, right? He won an election. Okay, let's let's go back to immigration. Okay, sure. You still want to continue? No, yeah, that's I fine. I mean, but it, you cannot bring people into the country that don't share your values and still be a country. You could be something else. You just won't be a country. How do you think this country was? A lot of people. This country was made by people coming from different places. And Good point. Freedom. So were we made by settlers or immigrants? Made by. What's the difference? Think about it. Ever asked that question before? It's okay, I'm not trying to put you on the spot, but there's a huge difference. A settler does what? Starts something new. An immigrant comes to something already built. Which one started America? Um, settlers did. So, no, so we're not a nation of immigrants, we're a nation of settlers. And yes, we have used immigration as a tool to enrich the American experiment because a lot of people assimilated. The Irish did, the Polish did, the Italians did, the Germans did. We are now losing assimilation as a primary prerequisite. Okay, so do more people speak Spanish or English in California at home under the age of 30? Um, probably, I don't know. Spanish. And that doesn't mean you're a bad person. It just means that you're losing what a country is, which is borders, language, culture, amongst other things. That's not it. And that's fine. If, if, the, if the argument is we want to become something other than a country, then... Okay, I'm, I'm wasting too much of your time. You're not wasting time. I, first of all, thank you for coming to the country legally. All right. And thank you for serving the country. Okay, cool. Thank you. Thank Appreciate you. it. You had an amazing conversation, but I would say this. I believe that people should be given the right to go to America because America is a place where you get things done easily. Like, America is... So people say America is this, America is that, but... See, if you've been in a country that is not America, like when Charlie Kirk said, if you don't like America, get out from it. But like a lot of people would die for the opportunity to go to America because it's actually in a country where you can work and gain good money from your work. If you have a skill, you can earn a lot from it rather than you working in a country where you pay like twenty, like forty percent less or fifty percent less than your skill is actually worth. So I honestly believe that a lot of people would die for the opportunity to go to America. And America is a great land. Like you have a lot. There are a lot of structures in place to make sure like you succeed. So like a lot of people will die for that opportunity, guys. Let, let's be honest. That's just the truth. And I honestly believe that immigration is gonna cause some diversity. It's it's there, but like people who actually want to go to America will learn some certain things about America. Like it's just I don't want to go to this country, I don't know anything about it. You wanna learn and adjust to their ways of life, like so Muslims are just in, Christians are just in, different people, like, we have to adjust because this is where we want to stay, so we have to adjust. But, like, some people will still have their own values, like, something that happened recently where a an illegal immigrant raped a 12 years old girl, like, yes, people were shouting, Biden has failed us, and I, I, I nearly cried, it was sad. These are things we don't see, but, like, it's there, and... It breaks our heart, but this is, see, these are the reasons why people say don't allow immigrants in, and some people just have to agree because, bro, some people have gone there and spoiled 
the way for others to come in. So it's it's just sad. But guys, don't always think about this. And if you like, share, subscribe to my channel. I'll see you next time, guys. Bye.